Commander, good morning. We've successfully instituted the President's Emergency Lazarus Protocol. I'm Lieutenant Eva, the intel officer assigned to your command. And since you're the only commander left alive, I guess I'm pretty lucky to have a job. It appears that we have suffered a full-scale Soviet invasion. Nearly all our major cities are under siege and our forces are in complete disarray. Please stand by, Commander. We have an incoming broadcast from General Carville at the Pentagon. I hope you're rested and ready, Commander, because as of 0800 hours, you are in control of every satellite, base, tank, airplane, enlisted man, woman, and child in the eastern United States. You answer to the President, and you answer to me. Your ops officer and vital lifeline will be the Lieutenant. Your point man for this mission will be Special Agent Tanya. General, I hope the Commander is up to speed because we don't have time to waste. I'm sure Tanya has every confidence in you, Commander. Oh, you're sure? Well, it's not your life that's on the line out here. <laughs> She's the best there is, but you'll get along better with the Soviets. You'll get started immediately. First stop, New York. The Lieutenant will give you the details. Not long ago, the Soviets made an amphibious landing on Manhattan Island and are using their ground troops to systematically take over the city. Fortunately, we still have a hold on Fort Bradley, but our comlink has been severed. If you can get Agent Tanya into Bradley, she will re-establish the link. Good luck, Commander. Mr. President, the Europeans will be asking for our help before too long. Yes, sir. I'll take care of it. Just ain't right. We shouldn't have to beg for help from anyone. Premier Romanov's got that whole continent shaking in their boots. Romanov's sending his bulldog general Vladimir in for our air bases. His forces are romping through the country like an angry bull at the Texas rodeo. At 0500 this morning, we detected a large force of Soviet tanks assembled near the Air Force Academy at Colorado Springs. Sir, urgent transmission from Agent Tanya in the field. It looks like the commies have captured the Academy, General. Well, why the devil did you wait till now to contact us? We can't let Vladimir take that air base. With all due respect, sir, we've been a little busy. Commander, get Tanya out of the hole she dug for herself and make her useful, would you? I'm sure she'll appreciate it. The heck? We seem to have lost Tanya's transmission. Go to it, Commander. Pledge allegiance to our new leader, Premier Romanov of the USSR. Commander! <laughs> Your performance in Colorado was pretty darn impressive. But things have changed since you've been away fighting. The war is over. What I've come to realize is that the commies and us want the same things. You know, female I don't think we need to hear any more of that. Steak. It appears that the President and even General Carville are under the influence of a Soviet psychic beacon. It's a mind control device developed by this man. This is Yuri. Our intelligence sources now believe that Yuri and his psychic core are the ones responsible for compromising our defenses before the invasion. Right now the Soviets control much of the population in the area. Oh, don't worry Commander, I'm not red yet. Intelligence has not yet determined the exact location of the beacon, but you can be sure it will be heavily guarded by the Soviets. I can link you to all the unaffected troops in the area. Use them to destroy the beacon. With the beacon destroyed, the President will be free to secure a safer location. I don't know what the Sam Hill happened back there, Commander, but as you can see, we're getting set right here. I know, Canada. More cows up here than people. Well, let's get to work. The lieutenant will fill you in. It looks like General Vladimir just hit Chicago hard. The nearest available forces are across Lake Michigan. Intel suggests an amphibious assault across the lake. Well, I guess it's the first time for everything. Good luck, Commander. Council are ready for you. Please hang on while I put you through. 
Ah, Commander, I'm glad you could make it. The European Council and I have been discussing an aid package... It's a possibility. The possibility of an aid package for the U.S. The nuclear attack on Chicago seems to have sparked their interest. Do not think us indifferent to your situation, Mr. President. But for us, the United States is very far away. Commander, the point is we've agreed to exchange Agent Tanya's services on this operation for soldiers and supplies from the Alliance. Provided our conditions are met, I am prepared to take command immediately. Now you just hold on a second, okay? This is my operation. We all need leaders, Agent. No? We have no time to train this guy, Mr. President. You want my men, you hook me up with my commander. And that's my condition. Very well. If you're on board, Commander, and it looks like you've been drafted, the Prime Minister will give you the details. The objects you see in the second photograph are Soviet missile silos. As you can see, Commander, they are a bit too close for comfort. I believe Romanov's intention is to keep us out of your war. Our men will go nowhere until this threat is eliminated. Take care of these silos. And this war may be close to an end. We're counting on you, Commander. I gotta hand it to you, kid. I've never seen Tanya stick her neck out for anybody. She's on an assignment back home, but she did ask me to convey any regards that she could uh, muster. Well, and, uh, at any rate, you, you must have really impressed those Germans, too. In appreciation, their chancellor has put us in touch with their leading citizen. Dr. Einstein, you still there? Yeah, yeah. I, I, I am here. One moment. Well, Commander, you know, of course, that war, it is not my vocation. I am only a scientist. But Soviet Premier Romanov and his generals, they will stop at nothing to rule the minds and the bodies of everyone on the planet. And they do have the psychic technology to do this. But I too, I know a few tricks. These are plans for a prism tower. Your president, he has expressed great interest in its application. Thanks, Doc. Commander, the Reds have established a forward base near D.C. with the ability to deploy Tesla coils. Now, they're pretty well entrenched, but I think if we can take the capital back, we can turn the tide. I'm tired of hanging out in Canada. Get me my office back. No rest for the weary, Commander. Sorry to wake you, but General Carville has called an emergency debriefing scheduled to begin in, um, right now. Good morning, Commander. I've got good news and bad news. Good news is it's uh, great to be home again. The bad news is our U-2s picked up a fleet of uh, Soviet ships entering the South Pacific. It appears that General Vladimir is headed for Pacific Command Center in Pearl Harbor, as if they could mount a successful attack against us. <laughs> I want you to prepare a genuine aloha for uh, that little bulldog, Vladimir. Oh, and uh, get yourself a cup of coffee, Commander. You look deader than the Texas armadillo. Beautiful job in Hawaii, Commander. I know you have your heart set on seeing the beach at Waikiki, but we have new business in St. Louis. The heart of Missouri is now the beating breast of all our ground control operations for the country. We'd be in sorry shape without her. The problem is that Yuri and his psychic corps have dropped another psychic beacon in the town. I never wanted to send you in against our own citizens. But those psychic beacons are turning upstanding Americans into Soviet-controlled killers. Move fast, move wisely. And try not to hurt any of my constituents. All right? Unfortunately, you may have to. Tanya's strike team is in place and standing by, but we can't tell how long they can go before the beacon takes its effect on them. One moment, Commander. Oh, she's not kidding, Commander. 
If we don't move fast enough, we'll all become slaves to Romanov and his slime ball and Yuri. Do you understand what I'm saying? There's nothing worse for a soldier than losing her mind. We're trusting you. Soviet forces retreated or surrendered in several key areas today. Find out where on War Watch at 9. Don't get too comfortable, Commander. Romanov still has plenty of fight left. Apparently the Soviets thought we wouldn't notice this research facility in the Yucatan. By these readings, we can see that they're trying to replicate Einstein's PRISM technology. Your destination is the ruined Mayan city of Tulum, near the Caribbean coast. We're paradropping a SEAL team to help you locate and destroy the facility. I think you're gonna like these guys. No rest for the wicked, Commander. We're both being shipped to Germany. I'm going to Berlin, where we're planning our final thrust. Now, Romanov is no fool. He's hitting us pretty hard over there. His main target is Einstein's Black Forest Lab. I want you to hook up with the locals. Keep him the Sam Hill away from that lab. Einstein is our ace in the hole. We can't afford to lose him. Off Wieders thing. We're all very sorry about General Carville, Commander. The Soviets have been using their crazy Ivans everywhere. Carville always said that you would be the one to lead us to victory. And it seems that you're proving him right. Commander, I have Professor Einstein on closed circuit channel two. Allow me to say danke schön, Commander. Thank you for saving my home. I have something to, how shall we say, even the score, yeah? You are aware, yeah, of my chronosphere, a device which it is capable of moving matter through time and through space. I have fought many long days and nights to find the perfect place where to deploy this weapon. There is only one small problem. The perfect place it is to be found here, on a tiny island in the Florida Keys. Just a few short kilometers from Soviet Cuba. I, I must get back to work. This is the intel I've been able to gather regarding the Soviet nukes in the area. They'll make chronosphere deployment a real challenge. Good luck, Commander. He served his country well. A proud American. And I know Carville would have been proud to see you succeed him as Commander General of the Allied Forces. General, we need you to take us the rest of the way. Next stop, the Kremlin. Special Agent Tanya has the job of moving inside the Kremlin and finding Romanov, who will pay for all the millions of innocent lives he took. Remember, we're still out number three to one, so we'll be marching everyone we can through the Chronosphere and the Keys. Once they appear in Russia, they're all yours, Commander. Take the Kremlin, Commander. Let's end this war. Off. <laughs> After months of brutal fighting, Allied forces have captured Soviet Premier Romanov and his Kremlin command post late this afternoon in a dizzying show of high technology and good old military discipline. Much of the credit for the amazing success of the Allied campaign goes to a little-known commander from... And patting yourself on the back, I have a little proposition for you. The President has invited you, us, to his victory gala at the White House tonight. I thought maybe you'd want to ride. 
just listen for the sound of the healers. Oh, and for heaven's sake, hit the showers, soldier. <laughs> <laughs>